What's going on internet? Jossie Joss here and first off I apologize for my voice. Uh, Saturday I went to Six Flags Magic Mountain with a few friends of mine and it's been a been a bit of time since I've been there so I wanted to check out some of the new coasters and experiences that they have there and let's just say that I pretty much screamed my head off to the point where I lost my voice. Um, I'm slowly getting it back. It's uh, Tuesday, so it's been like three days since um, my voice went out. So it's coming back, but I apologize on how scratchy and weird my voice sounds right now. But I am here. It is the month of September now. We're getting to the latter half. I mean, we've already been in the latter half of the year, but we're in the ember months. And you know when you're in the ember month, it's always close to the end of the year, which is insane because this year has just flown by. But anyway, September means we're going to get a bunch of different boxes coming in for the month. And the first box for this month has shown up to my doorstep. It actually arrived today. It is the uh, September 2016 Legion, oops, wrong side, <laughs> my bad, Legion of Collectors box. Um, if you don't remember, Legion of Collectors is the DC Funko collab box that um, comes every other month. Uh, it's similar to the Marvel Collector Core or the Smuggler's Bounty, um, as in the box that's sponsored by Funko and they partner up with a different brand. So this is the DC one. The theme, I believe, is um, DC Women or Women of Power, very similar to the Marvel Collector Core box they had uh, where it was women featuring like all the ladies of Marvel. So this is going to be all the ladies of DC, which is kind of cool that they're um, highlighting these female characters since, you know, I'm not too familiar with a lot of them. Um, so it'll be nice to see uh, the female characters being uh, showcased here. So. Without further ado, before my voice gets any worse, uh, let's get into the box. Open this up. And there should be a patch and a pin, because that's always the case with these boxes. Yep, there it is. Patch and pin, and we got some and you know artwork inside with some of the characters. Yeah, Wonder Woman and some other people, Batgirl, you know, if you recognize people in here, let me know. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but let's go. So the patch, the patch is Batgirl, pretty straightforward. I like this interest, I like this font of the, of the, the patch, so that's a really cool font uh, for Batgirl. And then the pin is Harley Quinn, oh, of course. We haven't had enough of a Harley Quinn with all the Suicide Squad stuff that we received last month and the month before. So we're getting more Harley Quinn. Um, I really like the design of this pin though. It just looks really cool. I think they're starting to uh, get more creative in their designing. That's not just like the same you know, palette or the same uh, like frame, mold, whatever. They're going to get, they're, they're making it different. So it's cool. All right, open up the box. And there's the card. I'm going to move that down. So, the card was on top. So that's how it looks like when you open it like that. But I'm going to move the card because the card always reveals what's in it. So first item we have is the shirt on top. So I'm going to do that. Open it up. Sorry. It is a gray, it's a Funko shirt. I don't believe it's a Funko Pop shirt. Gray, and it just says DC Comics. It's kind of hard to see, actually. And it's got, looks like Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Supergirl um, on there. So that's kind of cool. Three superheroes, three DC ladies. Super, um, not a fan of the color of the shirt. I mean, if they wanted to go with the the um, the black ink for the shirt, they should have done a lighter colored shirt or vice versa. Do a lighter ink on the dark gray shirt. So um, let me know if you got this box and if you got a different color shirt or something because it's hard to see like 
in the shirt. I mean, the shirt feels nice and the design is cool, but it's like, I want to showcase the design. You should have some kind of like uh, alternate color, like a complementary color so that it stands out. All right, next is the comic. It is a Legion of Collectors um, Batgirl comic number 35. <laughs> 35 and it's got the cute Funko Pop art so you got like I don't know who this is if you know who this is please let me know Supergirl Wonder Woman uh, Batgirl and then that's Katana from Suicide Squad so nice cute adorable can't get wrong with that so that's nice all right so there are two items in here obviously one of them is going to be a pop figure I'm going to do that one last so next, coming up, it's a Legion of a Collectors exclusive. Oh my gosh, this thing's kind of big, which is nice. It is a Funko product. It is a Legion of Collectors exclusive. It is a Wonder Woman invisible jet with retro, mini retro Wonder Woman action figure, which is right there. So you got that kind of retro looking uh, uh, action figure and an invisible jet. Uh, which is kind of funny, uh, but it's like a full-on, like, it's a stand, and so you can see, like, the invisible jet here. You can put the figure inside so she can sit, and it's like a display model, like a display uh, figure that's actually really cool. Uh, invisible jet, I always, I don't know, it's always a weird thing because, like, I went to Comic-Con this year, and they were celebrating Wonder Woman at this area. I forgot in w what area it was, but they literally had uh, like the like Easy Up type tent thingy set up, and they had a bunch of them. And they said, "Come take a picture with Wonder Woman's invisible jet." And I was like, "Are they trying to jip people? Like seriously, they're gonna just have people standing in front of this like empty like tent lot thing with nothing behind them?" And it's like, "Yeah, look at me taking a picture with." Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet. It's like, really guys? Come on. So, I mean, clearly it's not invisible to us. We can see it. But um, it's cool that they have, uh, it's not just like this little figure. I, I think if we had just received this little figure, uh, it would have been just Jip, you know? But they included something to put the figure in. And of course, the Invisible Jet works. So, I mean, it's cool. Uh, not my cup of tea personally, but... I'm sure, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sure someone will enjoy that very, well, very much. All right, last item in the box is the Funko Pop figure, and it is Hot Girl. So, she's got, she's, it's a, she's carrying like a mace of some kind, which is kind of cool, and her design is very, very awesome, um, and it's also a Legion of Collectors, uh, exclusive um, and it, part of the DC superheroes line there's a bunch of them that you can get uh, and she's got these really ooh, sorry my bad it's kind of, she's fine she's fine nothing nothing's broken everything's good but uh, she's got these cool wings I don't want to take her out of the box but you can see these really cool wings in the back for her so it's like if she, she's on display I'm assuming they kind of stick out which is kind of a an interesting thing you don't see that in a lot of pop figures so very nice all right and that is all for the August no September sorry September 2016 Legion of Collectors box from DC and Funko so flash forward to next month or next month um, two months from now so November uh, the next one is gonna be Batman villains for the Legion of Collectors I have a few friends who will be very very excited about this box so uh, in case you're interested i'll put i'll be sure to put any info uh, in the description below um so oh so the shirt there's two different shirts you could have gotten okay so they were deciding between heroines or female villains and so there's so many characters they couldn't decide so they produced two shirts the designs are pretty simple they look like stamps and that's you know and they have a uh, the DC comic logo thing on the top you can kind of see it here and then 
So there were two shirts. There was a heroine shirt and a villain shirt. So the heroine shirt is the one I had. It's the one with that girl, Wonder Woman, and Supergirl. The villain's one has Catwoman, uh, Harley Quinn, and I, is, I, I, I can't tell who this other person is. is it, but she looks like she's supposed to be blonde or something. But it's a third villain. And it looks like the, the shirt is the same color, that dark gray, with the black faded stamp-like print. Um, that's cool that you got two different shirts. It's been a while since uh, one of these boxes that has, has had multiple shirts. So let me know what shirt you got in the comment section below if you happen to have this box. I got the hero one, of course. So I'm actually happy about that. At least I know who the characters are on that shirt. So <laughs> I'm not a complete idiot when I'm trying to tell people what's on my shirt. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's see then. Let they talk about the history of Hot Girl and the design. And um, they have information about the pin and how uh, Batgirl has been. There's been many people that have held the title of Batgirl, Barbara Gordon. Betty Kane, Cassandra Kane, uh, Stephanie Brown, and Helena Bertinelli. And then the, they talk about Harley Quinn on the pin. And, the, you know, they basically said they couldn't, they said despite being featured in the Suicide Squad box, we decided we couldn't have a woman of DC box without featuring the incredibly popular supervillain, of course. So that's why she's there. Uh, <clears throat> so the cover. Well, the comic is a variant, of course, and it was made by their DC artist, Adam Archer, and so that was really cool. And then they talk about the uh, Wonder Woman and the Invisible Jet uh, action figure and how it came to be the, to make sure, um, the, let's see, this, the Women of DC box was supposed to be our second box, however, due to the amount of time the sculpting for the figure and the jet took, it took a long time. They move the boxes around so that's kind of that's kind of cool they didn't like you know speed up production cut corners in order to get a product out they made sure to take their time to get it right and then they decided to send the box out so that's still cool though um so thinking about quality so but yeah so that is all in the um <clears throat> september 2016 dc uh funko legion of collectors box uh, my favorite item in the box, probably the shirt. I like the shirt a lot, despite the uh, color contrast thing. Um, I'll get over it, I'm sure. And I'm also, maybe just it might just fade in the wash, so that might actually help <laughs> in a sense. So, um, but yeah, I like the shirt. Um, is it my favorite box? Probably not. Um, but I do like the fact that they're focusing on a lot of female uh, characters. And I actually, honestly, I know, I think I know more uh, female DC characters than I do Marvel characters. Um, I think it's just growing up, I knew more of like Batman and Supergirl and stuff like that. So, um, but that's all from me. Um, if you like this box, I'll go ahead and put information and their link in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I have a whole bunch of boxes coming in for this month of September. I'll try to get them as try to get them done as quickly as I can like as soon as I receive the boxes I am going on vacation for a few days this month uh, it's my friend's bachelorette and I'm the maid of honor so I kind of have to be there um, so I'm gonna I'll be gone for like maybe three or four days uh, but hopefully I'll be back right away and I can get these boxes and videos out to you as soon as I can so until then thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thanks for all your support and everything else and uh, have a wonderful evening bye